Well, I've just come through to Karnamulla and um, I've literally got one shrimp, one gabby. I'm going down here and as you can see behind me, the weir is overflowing. There's a massive amount of water over here. So I'm just going to go literally just down here where the uh, roads cut off. Bit of a back eddy there. And I'm just going to toss a line in, see if we can catch something. Oh, there you go. Well, there you go. I've now caught um, gabbies and shrimp in the Williams Creek, Williams Rip, yeah, Williams Creek. Uh, caught some yabbies and went fishing in Nebelin Creek and I caught a fish in the Warrego River. There you go, Kanamala. It's only a spangled perch, but hey, it's one. There you go, that is that tiny little spangled perch. Yeah. Down here. See you, buddy. Oh, he's gone. And, uh, yeah. It's hoping for a yellow belly, but. Any fish will do in the end. <laughs> Found a nice little spot out here. Um, I'm actually at Western Queensland Touring at the moment, and I've got a day, a spare day and evening, so I've got a line in. Uh, just pulled in the yabby pot over the side. I've got one to pull in. I just pulled one in without a camera. Check that out. Look at the size of these yabbies. This one here, look at this one. If I can grab him, hang on. He's having a, having a fight with everyone. But look at the size of that yabby. That is a cracker. Not as big as the ones you get out at Thargo, but holy moly, it is a good start to the day. And the claws on this other one down here as well, this one here, are huge. Look at that one. Huge big claws. Heaps of meat on them, all good to go. So I'm going to go over and pull in these other, these other one pot. I've got two pots in, and I'm going to go up here and pull it in. Oh, ah, there we go. Look at that. That is a couple of big yabbies. You little ripper. Yep, we've got the yabby pots out here, and there we go. Look at that. That is a pair of really good yabbies. Go and put them in with the others, and we'll have a bit of a feed later on. Oh. There we go. Another good yabby in there. Just the one this time. Get me out of there. Come on. Come ah, come on. Okay. Gonna make it difficult. There you go. Another good yabby. Add to the collection. back for a couple of seconds and come on what do we got we've got ourselves a spangled perch there you go we knew something was grabbing the line there and um, that's a beautiful little spangle out here western Queensland and we caught another fish. That's two fish today and a heap of yabbies. So, doing all right. I think this one has actually swallowed this, so he might be getting added to the pot. The fish is 
just about done too, so I'm just going to pick away at that. There we go. Uh, just a tasty little treat, really. <laughs> Matt here at the back of the ute. I've got the uh, the Trangia. That's the uh, 27. Uh, just got my stuff all decked out here at the moment. So I've got these fuel bottles. If you haven't seen these fuel bottles, I go on about them all the time, but. Um, there you go. That's the Trangy fuel bottle. Come in three different sizes. This is the one litre one. And all you have to do is unscrew this lid here. There. Unscrew there. And that button there pushes down. It's a bit of a safety mechanism for tipping out your alcohol. So just put it into there. Aim where you want it. Air comes in the top hole. Into there. And if you want to stop it flowing, just let, it, let the button go. Very simple. Put your fuel in, into there. Let that soak up the wick a little bit. Give it a little shake so it doesn't you know, there. And then uh, when you're finished, just screw it up. Can't push it in. And look at that. No more leaks. All good. Fuel's all put aside, ready to go. Ready to light that now. Now, I always carry uh, two different ways to light it. So I carry one of those uh, little fire sticks and a lighter because or some matches or something like that because that's nice and easy now that is now lit and you can't see that flame because it's hot and you see a little bit of flame come up the top there now uh being alcohol it burns clear put that onto there slide it in and oh, put it inside straight slide it in that stove is now on ready to go now we're going to use the the big pot here now this is the the uh billy can that goes on top and that just sits straight on top of the there put some water in there and get some yabbies cooking now this is another thing you might have seen it in the videos before but this is another thing that i like to carry as well it's a water cell uh this is the cedar summit water cell x the four liter one and um, they can sit up like that very cool this little thing here this whole lid comes off to fill it easily but you can actually turn it to open and closed so you can actually turn that to open there and the top part of it spins flip that around like that and that water will come out that little nozzle like that and you can tip your water out it's also got a little adapter that screws into that hole and you can turn it into a shower. So, very, very cool. I'm just going to put a bit of water into here and uh, get that hot and get some yabbies cooking. That water's just starting to hit the uh, boiling point there and we've got um, some yabby tails that we've cleaned up. So, we're just putting those into there and um, we'll get them cooking. So they're going to be all good to go very soon. They're going to let those boil, uh, let those cook up. And what I'm going to do is just parboil them. I'm not going to. I'm going to bring that water up to the boil, and then uh, they're going to go red on the outside. And then I'll make these really easy to peel. And then I can use that yabby meat in what I'm cooking next. So we're going to load this right up. Bring that up to the boil and we're going to be good to go. Well, I'll jump forward a little bit here now and you can see there that I've got some um, pasta cooking. Now that is um, starting to bubble up a little bit much so we're going to have to use the simmer ring on there. So just use the simmer ring. All you do is open up that there and take that off the heat for a second. Put that simmer ring on. Then it's sitting on there. That'll drop that flame down. Put that back in. Look at that. Uh, so yeah, like I said, jump forward, you want some pasta, I can put a lid on that, use the other thing, lid, the uh, little fry pan, ready to go, and in here we've got the yabbies, uh, they're boiled up, they're not quite cooked, so uh, it's just going to make them really easy to peel, so I'm going to peel all of them, and uh, just have the yabby meat, and ready for the pasta. So those yabbies are all cleaned up, now I've taken the... Um, Taking the pasta off there, that pasta is all cooked and beautiful, ready to go, and um, tasting good. So I'll put that back over to there. Now I've um, reloaded the uh, the little alcohol stove in there with some fuel, and 
of doing this one here a clean out. They can go back onto the top again. Let that get warm in there. Now, what I'm going to whack into there is a little bit of butter and um, around about, say, that much. There you go. That's a um, technical term. Maybe a little bit more there. Why not? Let's go crazy on the butter. And then I'm going to melt that down and then add a little bit of flour to it. So there we go. We're bush cooking here. Roughly about that much. Or I could have just used the spoon, which I had right next to us. <laughs> okay, our butter's all melted there and we've got some flour here and I'm just gonna tip some flour in and not too much, but uh, just so right about there, that'll be heaps. And uh, close that up again. And now we just mix in with that butter and that'll turn into a little bit of a, a paste in there. And we'll get that looking right. And then we can go on to the next step, which is add a little bit of milk. So you see how that's going like that there. All turns into a little bit of a, a short pastry on the heat. And that's basically what you're making there. And that's looking pretty good. Now, I'll add a little bit of milk to this. So just a little bit to start off with, and we can go from there. So a little bit of milk, so you can use powdered milk. I've got a, a, a bottle of milk there, but you can use powdered milk, uh, your long life milk, whatever, whatever you have at the time. So mix that in. If you mix this in like this, instead of just going straight butter, flour, milk, boom, in together, you get this nice smooth consistency of a white sauce when it's going. And that's how you make a, a rough white sauce. So look at that. And we add a little bit more milk to that. And we, you want to let this cook off a little bit so it starts going into a nice little nice little mixture. Look at that. You want it to get into a nice little groove there. Beautiful. That'll cook off pretty quickly and easily. Just keep stirring it until it gets right. So we'll move on to the next bit. Now I've been stirring that for a little bit and you can see there as I run the spoon through it, it sort of grabs a little bit and it's starting to cook the uh, flour in that butter and milk, which if you leave that in there too long, it will go hard. So you've got to keep stirring it just to make sure that it's all good to go and that's just about right there at the moment just remember guys this is on a really low heat there as well so you can do that you don't want this to boil you just want it to uh, cook, start cooking through a little bit now what we're going to do here is I've got some cheese here and I'm going to grab a handful of cheese and I'm going to um, a good handful of cheese and I'm going to toss that in there as well that's all in there ready to go. Now I want to toss in, oh, we'll give that actually, we'll give that a little bit of a stir in to that good handful of cheese. It'll all start to melt into there as well. So you want that to melt through everything. Now we'll shuck in our pasta, which is just over here ready to go. Come on, get out of there. If you can get it to come out of the pot. It's been sitting in there for a little bit, so. Come on. <laughs> Give us a second. Hang on. Here we go. There we go. It's, uh, they stuck together a little bit. Yeah, want some more pasta in there. There's a heap of pasta in there. So that can all go in in a second. Then our yabbies go in. There you go. So we're just tossing them all in like that. And we'll get the rest of this pasta in and then give it a good mix through. You can see that it's, that cheese is getting all stringy and uh, give it a good solid mix through and it'll be all good to go in a few minutes. And check that out guys, that is thick. It's creamy. There is yabbies in it. And that is what I call a fantastic little catch and cook. So that is um, getting a bit hot. I've taken the uh, simmering off for a second just to put a last bit of heat pump right through it. It's nice and hot. And then I can uh, serve it up. 
and get into it. I've seen people grab their, their simmer ring, close it, and then try to throw it in uh, on top of their, their Trangia cooker. There's a way easier way to do it. If you just tilt it so that your top ring comes off, check this out. You can take your simmer ring and you put it on there nice and gently and you don't have to worry about spillage and throwing stuff everywhere. You want to cool the uh, other part down, just pick it up with your pot holders and put it, on, uh, put it back on. So the cool part about these pot holders is one of the many, many features of them. A lot of people don't know all the features of them. I might do a video on that actually, is they pick up everything from the, the billy pots, the pots, everything, the, the pan, everything in there. And they also slot in to your multi-disc. You can have your multi-disc on for easy one-hand drainage. So very, very cool. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is our, basically it's a uh, macaroni cheese with um, yabbies in it. Basically that's what it is. But there you go. You can use macaroni, whatever pasta you have at the time. And it is absolutely sensational. You can throw some garlic in it or do whatever you want into there. So uh, I like to put garlic powder through it and all different stuff. I didn't for this one, but just into there. Beautiful, let's give it a go. Mm. That is sensational. And that's time to end the video because I'm gonna go get into it. See you on the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs>